Amazon has been fined almost $900 million for breaking the European Union's data protection laws. It's the biggest fine ever imposed under the EU's privacy regulations and more than twice the penalty many observers were predicting. The online retail giant has been criticised in recent years for the information it collates from the shopping history of its customers. Amazon says the punishment isn't merited and that it plans to defend itself vigorously. Here's our business correspondent Samira Hussein in New York. It is certainly a much bigger amount than w w was predicted. And also it shows that, you know, Luxembourg, which is where Amazon is headquartered if in the EU, is willing to really show its might and to Im enforce these rules in the has really been a lot more favorable to these U.S. multinationals that are coming and establishing themselves there. Look, this is a big fine and way for the EU to really send a message that you need to abide by these rules. What the EU is saying is that really Amazon didn't do enough to get people's consent before using their personal data. Now, Amazon, for its part, has said that this actually has absolutely no merit and that it is taking a very different kind of interpretation of the law. And that's why Amazon says that it's certainly going to cont cont uh, contest this in court. Uh, other companies have uh, faced penalties for breaching these rules. What exactly uh, is Amazon being accused of here? Right. So what Amazon, there's always been an issue with regards to how American multinational corporations use people's data. And what has been challenging since the EU has put forth these new, more strict rules is getting these companies to adapt to these new rules. The, in, the rules in the EU are much stricter than they are here in the United States. Amazon has a reputation of using customers' personal data. Now, to be clear, it's not that the personal data is leaked in any sort of way, but that information is used for the, its own company's purposes and sometimes often sold to other places or other companies. So that's really what Amazon, what the, the criticism is here, both of Amazon and of other um, of other companies that have been slapped with these kinds of fines. And, and is Amazon changing how it acts or has it already changed in response to the EU? Well, it had already been requested to make some changes, and Amazon had already said that it had made some of those changes. And I think that's where you're seeing some of this sort of pushback from Amazon in that, look, the, the kinds of changes that they made should have sufficed, but the interpretation by the EU is actually a lot different than what they would have.